Hartford's Hartford Country Club sustained significant damage following two fires in the span of less than 24 hours. The club was celebrating its centennial year in business. News 8's Brittany Taylor is live for us in with West Hartford tonight with more on that. Brittany, what are you seeing out there? Good evening, Catherine and Anne. Yeah, we're here at the Wampanoag Country Club and we saw firefighters out here today surveying the damage following these two devastating fires that broke out over the weekend. And we also saw dozens of people coming down to show their support. They were taking photos, taking videos of all the damage and destruction, many just at a loss for words tonight. They were telling us about fire number one, and but fire number two, really knocked our socks off. Janine Mira has fond memories of the Wampanoag Country Club. We joined this club because my husband and I are sailors and we wanted our three children to learn how to swim and be part of a swim team. Like Mara, countless West Hartford residents are saddened over the destruction of the community fixture, which was celebrating its centennial year two fires in less than 24 hours. The first igniting early Saturday morning. While there were major damages to the roof and attic, it was going to be salvageable. But with the second fire Sunday morning, the structure collapsed. People who've had, you know, wedding celebrations, showers, proms, other fundraisers, other events, that this has been a really important um, place in, in their lives and a lot of memories there. Crews are still investigating the cause of the fires. Firefighters say there were challenges extinguishing the small pockets of flames hidden in the attic from the initial blaze. I'm shocked at what I'm seeing and very sad. Um, it's a heartache for a lot of people that they built this community for their pleasure and now it's uh, gone. In the meantime, a number of local clubs and businesses are offering their spaces for events that would have been held here this summer. Anything we can do, a town and county women's organization has offered their place uh, to hold events that can't be held here and so people are reaching out. Now, at this time, the fire marshal has not deemed the fires suspicious at this point. As for the future of the club, you know, a lot of people are hoping that they will survive this blow, that the owners will rebuild. They're also hoping that the golf course will be open this summer. In West Hartford, Brittany Taylor, News 8.